up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is college i'm back with another video in today's video i'm going to show y'all what i got from this is just gonna be a hygiene haul it's not a haul really because i didn't really get nothing but i'm going to push y'all on because i just got off of my cycle and um i actually didn't cramp like that i don't know I don't know what's going on, but I actually didn't cramp like that. And I feel like that is thanks to Honey Pot, okay? Like, I'm literally a firm believer in Honey Pot. Like, I don't have the boxes because I, um, I put all of my tampon, I put all of my stuff in here in this little bag. And then I put the bag under the sink that way it's, you know there whenever i need it and you know it just i don't need nobody y'all up in my business you know what i'm saying so yeah i just put the bag under the sink and this bag is filled with uh stuff so these are what are these these are the little pads these are so 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 good when you put it on right it feels like was it, it's like a cooling sensation it's like peppermint it feels like a cooling sensation and this is so good like i absolutely love these these are great and then this is what the super looks like the super is in blue like i said i don't have the boxes but i did an unboxing on honey pot and i'm sure i have i showed y'all that box but it's the same thing just they're just not in the box these are so 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 great and they my ex, my cycle experience has definitely changed for the better like i don't cramp as not nearly as much like I, I feel a little pain but not nearly as much as i do you know what i'm saying so these are so 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 good i put this on and then i'll put this on but what i didn't realize is i think these are the pads because i got these these are these actually say panty liners so um and that's what these look like and i actually got these at walmart i was in walmart because hold on why am i dark well i mean why am i light why am i light i was in walmart and i had seen that walmart sells honey pot why did i go in walmart oh my mama had a eye appointment in walmart she had an eye appointment so i was like you know let me just walk around walmart or whatever and i seen I went to the hygiene section and I seen that they have honey pot. And I was like, okay, Walmart upgraded. So honey pot is not only in Target, but it's in a honey, it's in, it's in honey pot. <laughs> Did I say Walmart is not in Target? Not only is Honey Pie in Target, Honey Pie is also in Walmart. The only thing I don't like about my Walmart, particularly, particularly, I live in California, so the Honey Pot stuff, like all of the hygiene stuff, is locked up, and so you have to press the button. It's like literally in a cage, and so you literally have to press the button, and ask them to unlock what you need and i don't like people knowing my business like that you know what i'm saying i don't like i don't like um doing that so if yeah i just don't like doing that i don't want a man because you have you have to press the button and ask for a sales associate and then First of all, you have to wait on it to come and second of all if it's a man i don't want him knowing that i need You know, I just don't want him knowing that I need a freaking wash. 
vaginal wall you know what i'm saying like no so i don't recommend going to walmart if your walmart is locked up if you don't care it's fine but i i'm just not comfortable with doing that you know what i'm saying so um but the panty liners and stuff is not locked up however the if you were to get y'all know the um what's it called the wipes the honey pot wipes and the feminine washes and the cream everything like that is locked up along with summer's eve and stuff like that so but that's only in walmart i like target because you can just get what you need and then you can ju just do self-checkout you know what i'm saying like do you do y'all do that i don't like when i'm buying feminine feminine products and stuff like that i don't really like going into like checkout like regular checkout you know what i'm saying it's just no i don't like doing that so i just like doing self-checkout i can get what i need i that's why i like that's see i was wondering why did i stop going to walmart and that's why everything that i need like my hygiene stuff will be locked up for example dove and walmart is locked up here and that is some that is a new experience that i have not experienced yet like i didn't experience that when i first when i first moved here i was like this is completely different because i'm from georgia shit don't be locked up in walmart you know what i'm saying and i lived in a decent area you know what i'm saying not to say that i don't know but it's like i don't know it's a lot of um there's a stereotype that yeah, I live in a dominantly Mexican area, right? Okay, so there's a stereotype that Mexicans and Black people steal. But it's like, I feel like that's a stereotype everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And not everybody, not everywhere is locked up, you know what I'm saying? In Georgia, it's a lot of Black people in Georgia, you feel me? Why isn't stuff locked up there? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you're going to lock stuff up in one state, you should lock stuff up everywhere. If you're going to have stuff freely in, in one state, you should have stuff freely everywhere. Like, make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. Like, I'm con I'm confused. How I come from Georgia, dominantly black, move to California, and stuff is locked up. That's why I stopped going to Walmart. But Target, Target doesn't have anything locked up or anything like that. Um, you can literally, does it? No, no, Target doesn't have anything locked up. Like they'll, Walmart be locking up deodorant and freaking dope. Anything that's like expensive, not expensive, but cause they locked up diapers too, I think. They had like baby wash and laundry detergent locked up in walmart and it's like this is ridiculous why is it locked up i think they had hair products locked up too at one point in time walmart if i'm not mistaken i think they had hair products locked up too and it's like bro black hair products or you know for the court for um court brown what is it mexican yeah they had mexican products like locked up if you have any type of like coarse or curl to your hair the product that you probably use is was locked up at a certain point in time and i think they changed that i'm not sure but yeah that's my problem with walmart, with walmart i don't really like that walmart here maybe if i move back to georgia i'll like walmart again but that's why i stopped because i was trying to think like i did i used to hate target and I love Target for some reason, and that's why. But anyways, back to the panty liners. These are the panty liners, and these um, are great as well. I love these. They got mint, lavender, and aloe panty liners. They're so great. I think these are like $6. So this is like the smaller version of this. I believe these are the pads if i'm not mistaken but when i'm on my cycle i put this on i put this in and then i put one on to like get the leakage and stuff you know what i'm saying and it definitely does help it doesn't mess up my panties or my underwear either um 
So yeah, but I have a couple brands in here. I have Organic in here, and then I have Rayel in here. So the Rayo ones are kind of small. So I put these in towards the end of my period when I know there's not going to be too much, you know, coming out. I put the, the smaller ones in towards the end of my cycle. And then I just, I used, I just used these. This is the Honey Pot Company Bork Acid. So this definitely works like a charm. I got this from Target. It is $17.99. And it has boric acid, cocoa butter, and tea tree. So all you do literally like after your cycle is over. So mine only lasts for three days, thank God. Um, after it's over, you pop it in down there and you put on a panty liner in your, for your panties. And you just let all the bad stuff come out and it is so great like you just get that leftover you know what i'm saying so you can feel cleaner you know you just get that leftover stuff out of you and you just pop it in you literally just pop it in and wait like and it comes out like some people some girls they say they do it overnight but it's, i don't know i like to do it when i'm like sitting up or standing you know what i'm saying if that makes sense like i like to do it during the day because i'm just like up and i'm around and i feel like it'll you know come out better i don't know that's just what i do but it's the honey pots company these are definitely great this is my second time doing it so i do it like after i do it after my cycle um you can do when can you when else i'm sorry i got hiccups so you can do it you can insert it after you know you doing what you you doing what you need to do and then uh you can insert it after your cycle if needed and it helps promote that um a balanced ph insert it twice a day in the morning and at bedtime i don't really do that because i only need one like for me i only need one and then it says, you know, some discharge over the course of the night is normal. For added comfort and protection, wear a panty liner, of course. Um, avoid use of suppository up to four hours after doing what you're doing. Um, so, yeah. Made in Italy. Okay. All right. But yeah, it comes with an applicator. I don't really use the, app the applicator. I tried using it one time and the applicator didn't really do nothing for me. Like it came out. You know what I'm saying? Like the, so let me just show y'all what it looked like. So these are what they look like and you just open it. You open it up and tear it apart and boom there's the there's the it's like a little pill when i used the applicator the first time i put it in try to put it up there and it didn't work you know what i'm saying like it came out it came out so the applicator in my opinion doesn't get far enough so i just use my finger simple just you just just use your finger make sure you, of course make sure you know you're you've washed your hands and things like that make sure your cleanliness is on point you know what i'm saying but um yeah i just use my finger and it stayed so if i have any complaints it's the applicator i feel like yeah the applicator just doesn't really do anything for me but it doesn't do anything like i just use my finger and I seen another girl, I watched another girl's video. She's, her applicator, she didn't even open it. She was like, I just use my finger. Like, and so I feel like that's your best bet, just using your finger. Um, so yeah, I put these in after and I be, I be feeling clean. You know what I'm saying? It does have a 
earthy type of smell it doesn't smell bad it just smells like okay it smells like motherland or earth um it doesn't smell bad it just smells like you know earthy not earth i don't know you just have to smell it for yourself it's not a bad smell you know it doesn't stink it's just like okay maybe it's some it's, it's earthy you know i don't know but yeah that's just how i do it and these are really great as well so the honey pot line overall now that I've, and the panty liners they do the same thing they um the panty liners they they're great as well they have the the mint sensation and everything like that so i'm gonna take all of these out of here i'm gonna take all of these out they just smell minty i'm gonna take all of these out and i'm gonna put them in my little bag here i'm gonna put this under my sink in the bathroom i like the packaging too so yeah this is my little you know bag for when i'm on zip it up and i'm gonna put it under the sink so y'all let me know if y'all have used anything from honey pie and how it has changed your life for the better like i use the sensitive wash as well as the regular wash and i feel a lot cleaner i don't know i just feel more confident you know what i'm saying like because everyone is supposed to have a smell but my smell is not nearly as loud as it used to be if that makes sense like before i used a feminine wash and now that i use a feminine wash i definitely there's a difference you know what i'm saying my smell is very very mild it's not like dang you know what i'm saying like i don't know how to explain it i don't know but i definitely feel fresher when i use my feminine wash from honey pot um like I said, the normal one works for me and the sensitive one. So you can use whichever one you want. And the wipes. The wipes are great as well. I use the wipes whenever I'm traveling or whenever I'm, you know, not at my house. Because I don't use tissue anyways. I just feel like using tissue is just like so beneath me. I'm sorry. I'm just, I just feel like that. So I use flushable wipes anyway. But I also use honey pot wipes when I, I feel like they need to make a bigger version that's just a suggestion if honey pot made a bigger version of the wipes i would definitely use those i think i have some in my hygiene box let me just show y'all what i use So these are the wipes that I use at the moment. I get these from Target. Like just, I don't know. I just like using the Up and Up brand. I just get all of my hygiene wipes from Target. Um, these are really, really good. Uh, and they actually say flushable. So I use these wipes. And then if I'm like out, I'll use the Honey Pot wipes. But I feel like Honey Pot, hear me out, right? I feel like if y'all came out with a bigger version, like something like this, that would just make my day. Like, if y'all came out with a bigger version of your wipes, just, that would like literally make my day. <laughs> I think I have the sensitive one. I haven't used the sensitive ones yet because I'm not done with, I carry the other ones in my purse, the orange ones. But these are the ones that I'm talking about. Like, if they made a bigger version of these, I would definitely buy them. Who else? Who else will buy them? Like I said, I haven't used these yet because the orange ones are, I carry those in my purse and I'm not out of those yet. But please come out with a bigger version. 
I will definitely, I will never get the up and up brand of wipes again. Like, I'm so serious. Like, come on, come out with a bigger version. Um, But yeah, that's just my two cents. I'm sure these are good too because they're sensitive. But yeah, these, I carry these in my purse. Not these, but I carry the orange ones in my purse, in my bag. Have to have them because we're not using tissue, sis absolutely not like when they said on the news in california that they was running out of tissue i wasn't even like tripping because like I don't, I don't even use tissue anyway you know what i'm saying like i don't even use tissue like i'm good me and my family were straight like we was not looking for tissue because like okay we use social wipes anyway so yeah but i think i'm done talking at y'all's ear off like i said try honey pot believe that the only reason the only reason it took me so long to try honey pot was because i feel like it was overhyped you know what i'm saying i was like oh okay honey pot okay cool you know what i'm saying but once i actually tried it i was like okay i believe the hype and then what intrigued me to try it was that it was sold out in in all targets and so i was like okay maybe maybe it is as good as people is making it out to be you know what i'm saying maybe it is as good so once i tried it i was like okay i'm a believer all right okay um so yeah honey pot this is another video i think i have like i'm not even sure how many videos i have on honey pot at this point but honey pot y'all definitely need to keep doing y'all thing keep working come out with i'm giving y'all ideas okay if you you know just bigger bigger wipes maybe 60 count or 70 you know 100 okay um i would definitely buy it and i'm sure women across the world would definitely buy it as well make your wipes bigger um do they i have to look do they already have a bigger version and i'm and i just can't find it nowhere y'all let me know if they already have a bigger version of the wipes and i just can't find it maybe just let me know because <laughs> i want some bigger wipes from honey pot like um i feel like if y'all work on that you'll get some money i'm trying to give you a coin because I will buy it. Y'all let me know down below. If y'all will buy bigger versions of the wipes, let me know. Because y'all need to send this video to Honey Pot Company and be like, okay, Kyla, we'll listen to you. You feel me? Like, I I'm trying to get everybody a coin, you know? And I, I want you to take my coin. I'm stingy with my money now. I'm stingy with my money. So it's like me telling you to take my money is like something... I feel like y'all should do it, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. I can't tell y'all how to run y'all business. Maybe y'all working on it. Maybe y'all don't want to work on it. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. You know, it's not my business. I'm just trying to let y'all know, but honey pie, keep doing your thing. I'm, oh my goodness. I'm just, I love y'all. <laughs> honey pie, if y'all want to sponsor me, listen, I, I'll get right on that. You know what I'm saying? Like honey pies definitely um y'all doing y'all thing continue like ugh. um i can't show y'all the feminine washes because they're in my shower of course they're in my shower i can't you know what i'm saying but yes i'm just so grateful for honey pie like so grateful for honey pie and i had a girl I said, I remember what I say. I said something like, oh, this is the first organic brand that I've seen or whatever. And then a uh, rude ass little bitch ass girl gonna be like, honey pot isn't, uh, there are more, there are more brands out there. And I'm like, but are they black owned? Bitch got quiet. I meant to say they were black owned, sweetie. You know what I'm saying? and it, she had shit else to say after that like okay you don't have nothing else to say i don't know it's just 
I'm working on it. I'm working on the comments. I'm working on it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like that shit really pisses me off. Like, even if it wasn't the first organic brand, it's the first organic brand that I've seen. You know? So it's like, why are you? I just hate when people feel like they have to like insert their two cents. <laughs> like, for example, she was one of them females I don't like. For example, if I say something like, oh, men are trash. She would probably be that one to say, oh, well, not all men are trash. Like, shut up. Why are you? Shut up. Not all men do this. Like, I realize not all men do that. I'm just saying like, oh, you know you know what i'm saying i just feel like that's just just shut up anyways um i think that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know if you use honey pie let me know if you if yeah how y'all feel about the whites idea bigger you know more wipes bigger uh containers or whatever let me know how you feel about that um and yeah i just love honey pie y'all I just love honey pie. So I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.